Okay, so now that we've taken all the ocular measurements, the next thing we want to do is just to do a health check of the anterior eye. We we'll use this um, with a slit lamp. So what we want to do is just bring the slit lamp into the patient, and then just a check that the height is okay. The height okay for you there? Yep, it's fine. We'll do remove one of these just so it looks clean, and then we'll give it a wipe down. Just shoot some stead it. Okay, so I'll get you just to put your chin on the desk for me, Sean. Right, now you want to just make sure that the outer canvas is also lined up with the marker here. So once your slit lamp is set up, we'll just have a look inside. Okay, so here we have a slit lamp view just of the external eye. We're going to look at the bulbar redness, the limbal redness and the limbal vascularization. So the first thing we want to do is just have a general sweep just across the front surface of the eye just to see how it's looking. So if we have a sweep across here, we'll be able to see that it's looking all right. And we'll get the patient to look right. If you look right for me, Sean, that's great. You can see that there. We can also increase the mag just to get a better view. So there we have mag up just to let you see that there and we'll bring it back. Now, if you look left for me, Sean, get the patient to look left. We'll just inspect the conjunctiva on this side. That's great. And what we'll do is get the patient up. If you look up for me, we'll just let them, we're going to lower their lid down. So we'll lower their lid right now. And that'll give us a better look, just at the inferior. And then also you can just check out the limbal redness and the limbal vascularization, just at the inferior cornea there. Okay. Now we'll get the patient just to look down, and then we'll bring their upper lid up out of the way, just so we can have a better look. Now, if we increase the mag here, we'll be able to have a better look just at the limbal vascularization and limbal redness. And see, there's a slight bit there, but that's just because normally the lids will cover this part of the cornea, you know, during the day-to-day. -day. We'll have a look at the other side here. Just mark the limbal redness and limbo vascularization. We'll swap over to the other side and just note it on that. And that's pretty much that for this part of the examination. Okay, so now we're going to examine the tarsal conjunctiva. We're going to look at both superior and inferior. And we're going to do it under two lighting conditions. We'll do it under white light to assess the lid redness, and then we'll do it under blue light to assess the lid roughness. The first thing you want to do is just instill some fluorescein onto the eye, because this will help us when it comes to examining the lid roughness later on. So we'll just use a fluorette. So if you get the patient to look up, so if you look up for me, we'll bring the lower lid down, and then we'll just instill one dab of fluorescein, and that should be more than enough. I get them to blink a few times, just make sure they're nice and comfortable. So now we're going to just invert the lid. So if you get the patient to look down, we'll bring a cotton bud up. And then just with your thumb, you're just going to bring that down just in one fluid motion. Get the patient to keep looking down because this will maximise comfort. So we have a look there. We can increase the mag and this will be able to see the, the lid redness a lot better. So if we focus in there. So yeah, I can see the lid redness, so we'll record that on the record sheet, just using an appropriate grade and scale, CCL, or F on, depending on what you want. And now we'll put the blue light on, and just to assess the lid roughness. So you can see that they're not too bad, but what we'll do is I'll increase the mag again, and then if we focus it in, there we are, we can see that there. So that's the sort of staining that the fluorescein will give you on the lid. So that's really what we want to assess, so we'll get the patient just to look down now, after we've recorded it. That's fine, just assist them with your thumb. And then what we'll do is we'll assess the inferior tarsal conjunctiva now. So what you want to do is just bring your thumb in, get them to look up. Just pinch a little bit and bring it out. And then you should be able to see some of the stain in there. Not too much, very slight. That's fine. And then now what we'll do is we'll flip it on over to white light. And then we can assess the lid redness. So there you are, you can have a see there. So it's not too inflamed. And then what we want to do is just we'll grade that as well, just using the grading scale. Okay, so now we're just going to assess the cornea for any staining, and we're going to look at the tear breakup time also. So the first thing we want to do is just have a general sweep across the cornea. So we'll have a look across here. So you might be able to pick out on the video some slight staining. It's quite superficial, about 5 o'clock. Then we'll get the patient to look up just to look at the inferior cornea. Um, not really seeing anything there, though, so that looks all good. Then we'll get the patient to look down, and we'll blister lid up, just so we can assess the superior cornea. So I said, no, that looks all nice and healthy. So we'll get that down, we'll get assessed the tear breakup time now. So just increase the width of the beam to its maximum. This will eliminate the cornea as best it can. And then what we'll do is we'll get the patient to blink, blink again and hold. And we'll just count the time. There we are. So that was about five seconds. Now it didn't really come up that really well on the video, but you take my word for it, it's about five seconds. Okay, so now that we've done our external examination, it's time to grade what we saw. So the grading scale we're using here is the Efron grading scale. 
there is other ones out there um, you could also use the CCLRU but we'll use the Efron for this video so the first thing we looked at was the, the bulbar redness or conjunctival redness as it says on here so when we were looking at it we kind of thought it was sort of somewhere in between grade 1 and grade 2 so we graded that about 1.4 the next thing we looked at was the limbo redness. There wasn't really that much there to see, to be honest. Sorry, but between 0 and 1, we graded it about 0 0.4. We then looked at the limbo vascularization or corneal vascularization, as it says on this. Same thing again, we thought it was somewhere between grade 0 and grade 1, so we put it about 0 0.6. The next thing we looked at was the lid redness. So again, it was pretty healthy, pretty clear, so we thought it was between 0 and 1, so we put it at about 0 0.6. Next thing we looked at, we looked at the corneal staining. There was only a little bit, it was a little bit superficial, so maybe about between 1 and 2, at 1.2. And then we looked at the conjunctival staining, wasn't much there at all, so between 0 and 1, we put that at about 0 0.4. Then we looked at the tear break up time and we saw that was about 5 seconds. So if we actually have a look over here just at the at the record card here, you could see how you would mark it. So we'd mark that, we've used the Efron scale, and then you would just write down everything that you saw. And as we saw, we saw a little bit of staining superficially around 5 o'clock, so we just sort of did some little dots on there that just kind of indicates that. So it's always really important when you're um, assessing the interior eye just to use a grading scale, because this is obviously if anyone comes back, if anyone's getting any pathology, it's a good way to compare between opticians.